hey there. Didn't quite see you. But lucky you're here because now I get a chance to tell you about the Manta Sleep Mask Pro. Because in this video, I'm going to be reviewing, unboxing, and telling you some benefits associated with using sleeping masks, especially this one. Spoiler warning, there definitely are sleeping benefits, so definitely stay tuned for that. But first, let me give you some context behind how I even stumbled across sleeping masks in the first place. <sighs> I first started using sleeping masks because back then I wanted to wake up early and go to the gym, feel productive and start my day right. That meant I had to go to sleep early as well in order to get enough rest. The issue being daylight savings here in Australia during that time, it was summer, trying to sleep in a bright environment when the sun goes down past nine o'clock, it was close to impossible. So then I found a sleeping mask lying around. It was a more common style of mask, one that a hotel would provide for you. And for a few weeks, I used it and it was great. Being unused, the elastic band was nice and tight, so it just fit really well on my face. So look, the main way it helped me was that the sleeping mask was able to put just enough pressure on my eyes where it helped me keep them closed, right? Because when I'm trying to sleep and I'm not feeling tired, I have this habit where I just randomly open up my eyes and then once my eyes are open, I feel like the whole sleep cycle just starts over again. So that sleeping mask was able to keep that pressure on my eyes just enough for me to be able to just keep my eyes closed even when I'm just sitting there contemplating light. Look, to be honest, it did a decent job at even blocking out light as well, because it was nice and tight. You know, it blocked out about 85% of light. There's still light leakage through, but keeping them closed, it was definitely better than using nothing. So it only took about, I'd say a month for the elastic to wear off, which meant that it wasn't putting as much pressure on my eyes, which also meant that it wasn't blocking as much light out. So it eventually became useless. And then I had a choice, buy another cheap hotel sleeping mask or actually look for one that's good. I discovered Manta Sleep, which led me to purchase the Sleep Mask Slim. Now this one was marketed more towards side sleepers such as myself, and I can tell you that it helped immensely. So then after a couple of years, I thought it was time for an upgrade, which led me into this video. I purchased the Sleep Mask Pro. <laughs> Let's unbox this thing, shall we? Just a quick heads up guys, this video isn't sponsored or endorsed by Manta Sleep in any way, although it would be so cool if it was, so definitely be sure to smash that like button and subscribe. I mainly made this video as I truly, truly believe it's a great product and it ties into fitness as rest and recovery are quite important when it comes to building muscle and overall increasing your quality of life, especially when you're natural. You wanna maximize the amount of gains possible, right? And sleep is definitely the way to do so, all right. On with the unboxing. All right, so opening it up, we can see that it comes with a little pamphlet basically letting us know that there are cool accessories that we can buy for the mask. Cool eye cups, aroma dots, and a weighted head strap as well, which is pretty cool. Oh, look at that sound. That's that's pretty good. All right, and then over here, what do we got? We've got welcome to the best rested version of you. Proudly no fat. Proudly no nap. All right. Hashtag nap with Manta to win monthly prizes. Snap, share, all, right, all that cool social media stuff. That's cool. No worries. Pro, proudly pro nap. All right. That is interesting. All right. What else we got? They're cool little stickers over there. Oh, and look at this. Proudly pro nap, an anti hustle culture. We believe great sleep is the non-negotiable foundation you need to create your best life and that is impossible to unlock your full potential if you're not getting an afternoon nap every day this product isn't designed to help you sleep it's made to empower you to do more wow so i guess touching base on that subject it is quite important to find that balance between working hard and getting your sleep finding that routine because obviously you still need your eight hours of sleep but every waking moment you're awake if you're working hard then at least you could be proud of what you've accomplished but anyway moving on to the design of the mask as you can see here the design itself is actually quite unique you can see their logo on it and you can see that it's got a really nice purple design and you could also see that there's 
breathable spongy material underneath the purple layer right there and I do have to say it gets points for design it looks stylish so whether you're going traveling or whether people see you on it or you know you take a picture of yourself on social media and share yourself with this product on there it is great and it gets points for design all right so opening up the rest of the box as you can see it actually comes with earplugs being the sleep mask pro you know you're paying a lot of money for this and it comes with little earplugs to help you sleep at night so if there's any noise in your environment you just pop those in and combined with the sleep mask it helps you sleep and block out noise and vision so you can have the best sleep or nap it also comes with a little pouch that doubles as a travel carry case and a wash bag that you can use to chuck in the washing machine and wash it from time to time it's also got a little compartment for the removable eye cups which are held on by some velcro you also might be wondering will the velcro wear off after a few years and I've used my old sleeping mask, Slim, every day for a few years, and I can safely say to this day, the Velcro is just as strong as the day I got it. So the eye cups, they fit perfectly in the little pockets provided in the packet right there, as you can see. Boom, nice, easy, and packed up, ready for you to check in the wash or take it with you on holiday, wherever you're going. The design of the eye cups themselves are well made. As you can see, the orange part combined with its shape is aimed to provide comfort to those that sleep on their side. And I can safely say that after testing, there's been only a couple of times where I've woken up with a little discomfort, with pressure around my ears. That could be due to the mask just moving around while I sleep, but overall, it's not that much of a deal breaker for so me. Let me show you a quick way to apply them to match your face shape. Now, first, start up by attaching one of the eye cups just a little to the left of the mask center. Next, Position the second eye cup over your eye, then gently ease the mask onto your face. This technique ensures the eye cups are well adjusted to give you full coverage and block out all that light. Now, let's talk differences as opposed to the old one I was using, the Sleep Mask Slim and this new Pro version. I actually don't have the Slim on me, unfortunately. I gave it to a family member, it was a nice gesture. So first things first, they actually don't sell the Slim version on their website anymore. You could probably buy it from, you know, third-party retailers. But some of the differences, the Sleep Mask Slim had a more durable elastic band, whereas, you know, the Pro has more of a stretchy fabric to it. It's not more of an elastic band at the back. After using it for a couple of days, I'd say there's not much of a difference in my personal opinion, but if I had to choose this one is the more comfier one, just because it's more spongy, more soft, and it just feels a lot more like you're wearing a cloud almost. And one of the similarities between the Pro and the Slim is they both cater to side sleeves sleepers, which is pretty nice, you know, by using these little indents and the way that eye cup is, it's shaped in a way where when you're lying down and I, and I put this on and I'm lying down on the side, there's actually not that much pressure being pushed in my eye, which is really, really nice. And that is how they both cater to side sleepers. The original Mantis Sleep may not. I haven't had a chance to use that one. I'm only really going off experience from the Slim and the Pro version. But when it comes down to the Pro, obviously it comes with a cool little bag that you can remove the eyelid and chuck it in the wash and give it a nice wash after a while because you don't want it to get all dirty and stinky and sweaty and yeah. Moving on to the pros and cons. Pros is that this is by far one of the best designs of sleeping masks that I've seen. You know, it does the job and it actually looks quite trendy. It's machine washable, it's got uh, breathable fabric. At the end of the day, the biggest con of this sleeping mask in particular is that it's a hefty investment. Unfortunately, when you purchase these, it's only in US. So you have to do the translation to your currency, wherever you may be. It's 69 US dollars. That translates to about 107 AUD at the time of filming this video. So $100 for a sleeping mask, and it is an investment. It's an investment for your sleep. I'm recommending it because I think it's worth the investment, but definitely depends on the type of person that you are and what you value most, you know? Because, you know, 100 bucks can be a lot for some people. For just a sleeping mask and 100 bucks, it really isn't that expensive to others. So it really just depends whether you believe it's worth spending your hard-earned money on this thing because it is well-designed and it is well-engineered. I've used the Sleep Mask Slim for probably I'd say over three years. I've had it for a good chunk of time and it has lasted me. Like it does get worn and torn just over time and it doesn't look brand new, but I do have to say the elasticity and the actual fabric itself is highly, highly durable. So I'm looking at this thing and thinking that I could get several years of use using this thing. Once you buy these, you're, you're pretty much good. You know, I could still be using the other one if I didn't decide to buy this one, but I thought it was time for an upgrade because I saw it and, and I thought it'd make for a good review and a good video. So moving 
Moving on to some of the tests that I did, a couple days of using this so far, honestly, it's been great. I really like how easy it is compared to the Slip Mask Slim, where the other one had an elastic and you would like sort of had to put it on, sort of like a headband, right? This one, I like the way it just comes on and off, right? Basically put it on there and you just flop one, put it on the other and boom, it's on. I mean, I didn't do a good job there, but this one's actually seems a lot more easier to put on and for me, a lot more satisfying. You know, just putting it around your head, just like that. So, <laughs> so then doing a few tests, using this thing over a couple of times, I tested it, you know, sleeping on my back, sleeping on the side, sleeping on my stomach slash on the side. I mean, no one sleeps face down unless you'd suffocate to death. But, <laughs> um, but during my testing, it's, it really caters to a lot of people and unless you sleep face down in a pillow, you're probably not gonna be waking up the following day. But, <laughs> you barely feel it on your eyes. You know, you put it on, it's like you know it's there, but you barely feel it and you just go to sleep, boom, and it stays on, it's, it, it does the job and it's great. So I found that usually when you'd wear this thing, like you'd be able to have the, you'd be able to have the side strap on top of your ear and when you're lying down on your side, there's a bit of, you know, pressure on there sometimes the way I sleep. So I found that there was a bit of discomfort using this on my ear as a side sleeper. Nothing compared to the Sleep Mask Slim. What I'm saying is the Sleep Mask Slim had more discomfort because that elastic fabric having that pressure on the side of my ear sometimes. So with the Sleep Mask Slim, the solution I found with that was to actually put the elastic sitting a bit more higher on my head. So I would wear the sleep mask, you know, a bit more higher up on an angle and that would fix the problem. Even putting it behind your ears can help, but I don't like the feeling of it being behind my ears because I feel like if I'm gonna be sleeping with that behind my ears, I feel like it's gonna make my ears stick out more. I don't want that. Maybe it's just a thing that I have, but. <laughs> and now I just wanna quickly explain why I like sleeping masks so much. After hearing Andrew Huberman, if you know who he is, you know, if you don't know who he is, definitely search him up. He's a neuroscientist, PhD professor, and he does these really long podcasts really informative and he does confirm that sleeping masks do indeed help you stay asleep provided they are not too tight and provided that the room is cool enough why well eye masks cover the upper half of your face which is where glabrous skin is localized remember palms of the hands bottoms of the feet glabrous skin on the face so a lot of people who wear eye masks will wake up because they're too warm if the room is too warm so if you're going to use an eye mask to keep light out definitely make sure the room and your sleeping environment and your bed are cool enough in order for you to stay asleep. And anecdotally as well, I feel like it helps me stay asleep. I get better overall sleep. And on top of that, it helps me fall asleep earlier, not only in a brighter environment, but I feel like I've conditioned my brain to when I wear that and I go to sleep, it does psychologically maybe tell my body that, hey, it's time for sleep. I've got the sleeping mask on. You know, it's those things that you do, those habits that you build that if you do that over a long enough period of time that, you know, your body recognizes, oh, a sleeping mask on and it's pitch black. Know, maybe it's time to produce some melatonin and go to sleep. Now, overall, considering its price, it's targeted to those who wanna take their sleep and recovery seriously and to the next level. So if you're someone who's either weight training, an athlete of some kind, someone who struggles to sleep overall, or someone that just needs to sleep in a bright environment, then this is the perfect product out there for you. But look, if you're someone already getting good sleep and you're already sleeping in a dark environment, then at the same time, I wouldn't see why you would need to spend your money on this unless you just really want to or you've got cash lying around, then why not? But if you're already someone getting good sleep in a dark environment, I wouldn't see why you would need one. And so if you're watching this video, then you're probably trying to find a great way to improve your sleep and well, this is it. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, hope it helped. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out a ton. And I'll see you in the next one.